Hi guys! Hello! Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to make a video on what happened at my husband's biometric appointment for his spouse visa extension application. We went back in December so it's been quite a while but I wanted to do this video so you know what happened. Um, I do show you how to book the appointment on the walkthrough video for the online application. It's just towards the end of the video and I'll leave it linked up at the top here so you can see how I've done that. Our appointment was quite expensive, I think we paid £135 for the appointment. You can get appointments at different prices, there are some free appointments available as well if you go to core centres and I think they've got core centres in London. Birmingham and Manchester but we were going to Sheffield so I don't think there's a call centre here um, even though the home office I think is based here but I don't know. There was appointments for £69.99 and you'll see that in the video as well but we went for one where I was off as well but unfortunately they didn't even let me in anyway so he probably could have gone for the £69.99 and gone on his own. I'm not off lag now, I don't know how much I'm doing this right now so I'm not off lag now, I don't know how much I'm doing this now, I don't know how much I'm doing this now. Um, on the, on the uh, confirmation email it does ask you to go in 15 minutes before the appointment but I think because of everything happening at the moment they don't really see you until the time of the appointment so we arrived early and it was really cold it was December so and we and we had to wait outside <laughs> which wasn't fun um, and then of course hubby went into the appointment and I stayed outside um, oh no, I'm, I went back to the car um, and waited for him in the car because it was just too cold to wait outside. Then you got it together, oh. so. So we didn't get slay of women to have a sort of security guard as well. So security guard to my niece, the high side of the room, who knows I died to the villa. No, first day, when I, mean, when I go inside, then security guard check my name, then write his paper, then go inside my biometric room. And go inside and take a seat. One man is here waiting. When inside, then this code he is scan. My this code first time can't scan. They can't scan possible. After my email, then the my phone email, then scan, then successful. My paper first time scan my paper can't accept. They told me your email. Then I show my email, then my barcode, then I scan my phone. Okay, yeah, so technology, technical yeah, yeah. difficulties. Be before, be before your phone switch off must. Oh, so um, so they scan this before you have to go through, yeah, 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 yeah. when you go through, you switch they, off they, they can't scan my paper. They told me you are turned off on your phone and show your email. Then my show email oh, and okay. code, then machine then successful my barcode and then scan you switch the phone off again yeah 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 then they told me your oh, all paper give him then he read my all paper check my everything check some paper check and then he online check my everything is upload that's good fine no thank you your everything is upload this paper alam yeah okay thank you somebody before a can't upload all paper then they upload again but me upload we upload before before biometric all document upload my application that's why he no need my upload again paper they told me there someone some people some people some paper upload some paper <laughs> not upload that's why they they full paper upload again but my paper my wife fully upload before that's why not no need again upload yeah so um i'm not sure if it matters uh, whether you have a free appointment or whether your appointment costs a little bit more that you have the option to upload your documents at the biometrics appointment if it's free i'm not maybe you have to do it at home yourself um, but we did it ourselves at home um, and so when he went to the appointment, they didn't need to upload them, but they did look through the um, documents. Yeah, they especially, they especially check your 
marriage certificate and some work, work contact. So so something, go, some paper they check, then okay, it's 15 20 minutes. Everything so is so it go original, that's it. Yeah, 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 original. They check okay. original and some paper check. Then he again check his laptop. My application is okay. Okay, so yeah, so definitely take your original documents with you. I took everything, um, I've just got them here actually, so you can see how big it is, just as big as it was for the first application. Um, so yeah, so I took everything and. Uh, and one thing, more, more one thing, they check your resident card. A resident card and passport must bring this appointment. They check resident card and passport. So yeah, so those are the two things that they scanned, right? Scan for yeah, on, 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 only scan your, only scan my passport, my picture page. The full, full passport is scanned. Okay. Then they uh, return, give me your passport and resident card. Then after the Mm, they give, uh, they told me your finger. Then I finger paint, two hand. Then take a picture. Then something is his laptop is something I don't know what happened. He, the laptop typing. Then my appointment is finished. Yeah, so they didn't keep anything, they didn't keep any of the documents that we took in, and they didn't keep the passport or the biometrics residence card. So, uh, BRP card, maybe. Yeah, BRP card. <laughs> BRP card. They didn't keep anything, um, but it's important to take everything with you just in case, um, because if they do ask for anything, then you've got all of that evidence with you. Of course, hard copies and originals are official documents, so they might want to see those. Yeah, anyone missing upload before biometric your paper uh, or anyone can't upload your paper, no worries. You take, bring all paper, your biometric appointment, they upload your paper. Is no worries before, you must, can't upload before, nothing. You can't upload your all paper, but you bring your paper, all paper, your biometric appointment, they have sort out easily. They have, they have, they have a, a scanning uh, service. Yeah, scan, upload, everything sort out. I think is much fee. I don't know. Yeah, I think there's a fee for it. I'm not sure. So if you are going to a core appointment where it is free and you are unable to scan your documents, just take them with you. And um, I think you just have to pay a little bit more and they will um, scan the documents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you upload all paper, you have arrived your appointment 15, 20 minutes. You can't upload before, before you can't upload your all paper, but half an hour, 40 minutes. So yeah, we took, we also took passport size photographs with us. Um, I think we did one of mine and two of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no need passport size photo. <laughs> yeah, they didn't you bring, need it. You must bring sometimes, and they told him your passport size photo, I don't know. Yeah, it, it is um, It is on the list of documents, I think. Um, it was for the first application, so I just did the same again for this application. And we just uh, wrote our names on the back of the photographs. Um, and I just used a little envelope, so I had a binder clip just like I did the first time to bind all the documents together. And what I did was, at the front, I put in a little um, envelope with the passport size photographs in there. Um, and I just kept that sort of under the binder clip. Um, and that's how I took my documents in. The order that we put them in, um, I just put them in the same as I did the first time around. If you want to, you can put them in the order um, that you upload them in. On the website but I just did it as um, I just made sure that all my financial documents were together all my uh, residential residence documents were together and um, all our life event documents were together and then anything extra I just put at the back this airplane everyone too easy no headache no panic is easy it just is your reception paper they have they have no question for you anything they they all they only your check your paper and upload everything, that's her job. Yeah, that's a good point to make because a lot of people do ask if they do um, ask any questions. No nervous feeling. <laughs> so yeah, they don't seem to ask any questions. That's not their job. So anyways, guys, that's the um, end of the video. That's what happened at the biometrics appointment. So like you said, no need to panic. It seems pretty straightforward. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And like <laughs> and subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, and we'll, watch my video every time. <laughs> yeah, watch our videos. And if um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below as well. We'll see you next time. Take care.
拜。